Najib Razak was Malaysian Prime Minister for nine years, but he was voted out of power in an extraordinary upheaval. He's now facing 32 charges, including money laundering, and is caught in the sprawling investigation into the state investment fund 1MDB. I asked him how it was that hundreds of millions of dollars ended up in his personal account. How do you explain this vast sum of money that came into your personal accounts? Well, as you know, um, around that time, uh, there was concern that the Arab Spring uh, will, uh, might even reach this part of the world. And uh, the Saudi government uh, decided to support us. And I had a firm commitment. Uh, it was going to be a donation. And uh, the total sum that came in was about 680 million. Uh, it was basically used That's for dollars, right? uh, dollars. Yeah. It was used for the election. Four months after the election, 621 million was returned. So I'm, my conscience is very clear. It was meant uh, for a specific reason, and it was used for that, and the money was uh, returned back. And what was the specific reason? I mean, what was it used on the money that was spent? What was it used for? Basically to ensure continuity of a government that's moderate, progressive. And uh, the Saudis saw us as a model country. And uh, they decided to support us. So essentially, this was a political slush fund. I wouldn't describe it as a slush fund, but I would describe it as a donation to ensure uh, the government of that day continues to be in office. Do you look back on this whole period with, with any sense of regret or shame or repentance? You know, the Malaysian, uh, there are Malaysian sort of government bodies that are taking out advertisements in the international press now saying Malaysia's been through this terrible dark period of corruption and now we're back and, you know, you can trust us again. Don't you look back at that and think, you know, that was a mess that I was responsible for? Well, if you look in terms of the uh, major indicators, okay, I mean, you look at in terms of the growth figures. Uh, last year we achieved 5.8%. The nine years of my premiership, the average growth rate was 5.5%. Um, if you look in terms of uh, the benefits we've given to the people, uh, they were uh, essentially benefits that enjoyed by the large uh, proportion of the Malaysian people. When the, 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 uh, the police raided uh, your official home and your offices, they found all this cash, they found these uh, vast amounts of uh, sort of luxury goods, handbags and things like that. How, how, how could you explain that? I mean, the total value of, of, of this cash in different currencies and these luxury goods were, I mean, it was quite enormously high. How do you, how do you explain that, that the existence of that, of that money? Well, uh, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, first of all, in terms of uh, the cash, uh, they were all associated with election. Uh, it's the practice that uh, my predecessors uh, did the same thing. And I'm on record. Uh, Essentially buying votes, is that the... It's not buying votes. It's a machinery required. We don't buy votes, please. We never buy votes in this country. But uh, every political party needs funding, just like in America. Every political party needs funding. I wanted to institute a system in which that would be more transparent, uh, but it was rejected by the opposition then, when I first came into office. So this was money for political... For political uh, purposes, purposes. Uh, the, the party, we, we, we run a big party, there are 13 component parties of Barisan National, and, uh, and, and the constitution requires me, allows me to collect funding for the party, and what about the jewellery and the handbags? That's not okay. much good for electioneering, is it? Uh, it's not much good, but uh, I agree with you. But, uh, you know, um, being in office, uh, we um, have very close relationship with uh, many, many uh, monarchs and heads of government. And some of them have a practice of giving very, very expensive presents, uh, you know, on anniversaries when we visit them and so forth. So you're, you're unrepentant. Uh, what do you see now as the future for yourself and, and, and your wife, Rosma, has also been questioned. How, how, how are we going to go from here? I have to face, uh, you know, the, 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 the trial. Uh, in a way, I welcome it because it will give me an opportunity to clear my name. Uh, that's important to me. I, I want to clear my name. Uh, I'm confident of my innocence. Uh, and I hope 
that, uh, and I pray that I will get you know, a fair trial. Uh, and we have to uphold the independence of the judiciary. Uh, that's why I welcome international observers uh, uh, to look at the proceedings in our court.